Okay, First Chronicles chapter 6, looking at the Levites, picking up verse 49. Now we've looked at, there are three divisions, if not four, among the Levites. There's Kohath, and he's in charge, that family, of the, the furniture, carrying the furniture, but he never saw the furniture. It was wrapped up. Gershom and Morari. Those are the three classes, the three sons of Levi. Uh, all priests are Levites, but not all Levites are priests. They're in that family of Levi. They're serving the priests. And now the fourth class is Aaron. And that's the priest. Aaron and his sons are the priests. But Aaron and his sons offer upon the altar of the burnt offering and on the altar of the incense. Now, that's important, because when we went through the kings, we had Uzzah come in and enter into the holy place. And there he was burned the incense of the Lord out of pride. Look who I am. And the priests rebuked him. They came in multiple priests. And he gets leprosy for defiling where he ought to be, where he's not to be. And... Now let's look at here. Here's Aaron upon the altar of burnt offering. That's the brazen altar at the entrance of the, of the tabernacle. And then the altar of incense, that's in the holy place. So Aaron's sons, let's look at Luke chapter 1 verse 5. Again, when you study these names with the Bible, then it becomes interesting. In the Gospel of Luke chapter 1 verse 5. There was in the days of Herod, the king of Judah, Judea, a certain priest, remember said, of Aaron, named Zacharias of the chorus of Abiah. Okay, number one, when we look at but Aaron, his sons, chorus of Abiah, and his wife was the daughter of Aaron. So both Zacharias and his wife, Elizabeth, are of Aaron. And they were both righteous. Verse 8, and it came to pass that the whole, that while he executed the priest's office before God in the order of his course, according to the custom of the priest's office, this, these are the words we've been reading in this chapter of Chronicles. His lot was to burn incense. Well, that's what we just read here. So, Zacharias is of Aaron, of the priest. And he has that right to go into the holy place where he meets Gabriel. It's right, and we studied that before. So, scripture with scripture, look at look what we run into chapter 1 of Luke. Here's a priest, he's of Aaron, and he's in the holy place. He's right. Now, that chorus of Abiah, verse 5, is interesting. Because there were, there were courses, there were different groups of the Levites serving, and we'll take our Bibles to 1 Chronicles 24. 1 Chronicles 24. And we learn more about Zacharias. 1 Chronicles 24, that he had every right to be where he was. Uzzah did it. And let's see, 24. And we'll pick up in verse number 1. Now these are the divisions of the sons of Aaron, the priests. The sons of Aaron, Nadab and Abihu, Eleazar and Ithamar. But Nadab and Abihu died before their father and had no children. Therefore Eleazar and Ithamar executed the priest's office. And David disputed them, both Zadok, we saw that name, the, the sons of Eleazar, and Ahimelech, the son of Ithlar, among through their offices, offices, and their service. And there were more chief men found the sons of Eleazar than the sons of Ithamar, and thus were they divided. Among the sons of Eleazar, there were 16 chief men of the house of their fathers. And ate among the sons of Ithamar, according to the house of their father. 
Okay, we're going somewhere. We're looking at, the, again, First Chronicles 24, we're looking at the priests, the sons of Aaron. Thus were they divided by lot, one sort with another. For the governors of the sanctuary, the governors of the house of God, were of the sons of Eliezer and the sons of Ithamar. They are in charge of the tabernacle. There's no temple yet with David. David has set up the priest as a king with the authority of God who loves God with all his heart. He has come up with what we see in Luke chapter 2. Uh, two. One. And Sephaniah, the son of Nethaniel, the scribe, he's in charge of writing. He's in charge of the, the scriptures. One of the Levites wrote them before the king and the princes, and Zadok the priest, and Ahimelech the son of Abiathar, those are the priests of David's time. And before the chief of the fathers and the priests and the Levites, one principal household being taken of Eliezer and one taken of Ithamar. All right, we are looking at the sons of the Aaron. David has set up a service, an office. Now the first lot came forth of Jehoroabim, the second to Jedidiah, the third to Harm, the fourth to Seermar, the fifth to Machakadah, and the sixth to Majom, the seventh to Hekus, the eighth to Abijah. That's Luke chapter 1. Go back to Luke chapter 1. Hold your place there. And it's a different name. Yes, but it's the same name. You're going from Hebrew to Greek. And Luke chapter 1, verse 5, right in the middle of it, of the chorus of Abiah. And you go back to the second. Huh? What verse is that in the chronicles? The Abiah is verse 10. And said in Bert, and going back to First Chronicles twenty four ten, the seventh to Hekus, the eighth to Abijah. That is John the Baptist's father, Zach Zacharias. Do you know what eight is in the Bible? Eight is a new beginning. And guess what Luke chapter one sets for? Sets off a new beginning. John the Baptist, the forerunner of Jesus Christ the Messiah. Isn't that interesting? Could have been the seventh. It wasn't complete. It ain't complete yet today. Until Jesus Christ sits on David's throne as King of Kings and Lord of Lords. So we read First Chronicles 24, 1 through 10. That's the family of Aaron. And when we look at our study tonight, First Chronicles chapter 6, verses 49, just one verse. Look how far we've gone. No one in outside of Aaron could step into the holy place. I don't care if you were Kohath. Aaron, it was spoke about, let me look at the son's name, Aaron, real quick. I think it was Phinehas, but one of them sons of Aaron would go in there and cover the ark. And after they took down the tabernacle, you know, what David would have, the coats of skins and all that, and cover the ark and cover the altar of incense. And then Kohath would come in and he never saw them. All he would see is the stage. So when we verse when we read verse 49, Aaron said, We are reading Luke chapter 2. And then when we come to the end of the Gospels, when Jesus Christ dies and he rips that veil from top to the bottom, no one was allowed in that holy especially the most holy place. But our great high priest, Jesus Christ. So verse 49 in chapter 6 of 1 Chronicles, But Aaron and his sons offered upon the altar a burnt offering. That's the one everybody saw. That's where they would tie the animals, they would slaughter the animals, and offer the burnt offering. That pictured hell. And on the altar of incense, that's Luke chapter 1. And Luke chapter 1, we, if you read a little further, that would say the people were waiting at a time of prayer. Revelation says that, that incense went up as prayer of the saints. That's in the holy place. Hebrews at least alerts to that this altar may be in the most holy place. Kind of confusing. 
All right. And were appointed for all the work of the place most holy. Only Aaron, the, the high priest, can go into the most holy place. And to make an atonement for Israel. That's the day of atonement. Once a year. According to all that Moses, the servant of God, had commanded. And these are the sons of Aaron. Eleazar, his son. Phinehas, his son. Abijah, his son. Buckeye, his son. Uzai, his son. Zerariah, his son. Mararoth, his son. Amariah, his son. Ahitub, his son. Zadok. There's David. His son, Ahimenaz, his son, and it stops there. Now we're going to look at the, the land. And we saw this in, in Joshua, but we're looking again at the land the 11 tribes of Israel gives to Levi. Levi did not have an inheritable plot of land as Judah, Simeon, Benjamin, uh, Dan, and all them. His lot was given to be, that's Jerusalem, that's the temple, and you will have cities inside your brother's cities where you would minister to your brother's city. Now, Jerusalem was the center point of all where God met the children of Israel. But Jerusalem was not the mega church. As you would have today, you had Levites all over the place in 11 tribes in the land they had they were all over taking care of the people that were in their land today you seem to have we got to have this one big church here and yet you forget that the book of acts says they went from house to house in the book of Ju judges you even see a uh, priest they're, they're going about now these are the dwellings places throughout the castles isn't that interesting castles in their cause. And the sons of Aaron of their families, the Kohites, for theirs was the lot. That means what we would call gambling. Who got the short straw? Who got the odd number? Who got heads? Who got tails? Who got the black ball? It wasn't for gambling for money. It wasn't gambling for profit. It's, all right, who gets what? And they gave them Hebron, that's a city, in the land of Judah, and the suburbs thereof round about. So Hebron in the Bible, that's a Levitical city. But the fields of the city and the villages thereof, they gave to Caleb, the son of Jephana. So look at Caleb. He comes in and he says, I want that mountain. God says, okay, you are loyal to me. You love me. I'm going to put a priest right next to you. In your land, you got the priest city. When the sons of Aaron, they gave the cities of Judah, were in Judah, namely Hebron, the city of refuge. So Hebron is also a city of refuge. You kill somebody accidentally. Libna with her suburbs, Jatar and Estimoa, these are all cities in their suburbs. And Helan with her suburbs, and Deber with her suburbs. You say, so what? Who cares? When you lived in the land, you would care. If you had to go to church, synagogue, well, it wasn't called synagogue to after Babylon, but if you were to go meet where the priests were and learn what you're supposed to do as a good Jewish person, you would have to go to one of these cities. Look at all the cities we're going to look at here. It wasn't one major city. And then three times a year, the males would have to go to Jerusalem. And the imitation, you got the Mormons that do that. Every throughout the, the year, they have to go to Utah and have that big meeting. They're, still, they're stealing that out of the Old Testament. Your Baptist and your other conventions, we have these meetings throughout the year. You're stealing it from the Old Testament. When you come to the book of Acts, it's a local church assembly where you go. And hopefully there's one near you. Hopefully. We hate to have you go gather in one big place and you can't get there because your car breaks down or you have no gas or no job. And then they try, you must be in church. Oh, be in church. I can't get there. Sinner. Sinner. Can't come to our church. Verse 59, Ashen in her suburb and Beth Shemesh in her suburb. And some of these cities you're going you're gonna to recognize. 
Now the tribe of Benjamin. Benjamin was an area with associated with Jerusalem, Jabez, and Bethlehem. Geber her suburbs, Elmeth with her suburbs, and Ananoth. That's interesting, Ananoth. Let's learn something about Ananoth. Jeremiah 1 1. Jeremiah 1 1. In Benjamin. Again, Jerusalem, Jebusai, is a Benjamin city, but it's been swallowed up by Judah. So Jeremiah 1 1. And the words of Jeremiah the son of Hekiah, of the priest, Jeremiah is a priest. That were of Anana. There it is. There's that city. That's the city we just read. Now, how good were they in Jeremiah's time? Jeremiah 11, 21. The city of priests. So you see why the Catholic Church wants a city and areas of priests? You see why they have their city, the Vatican, of priests and cardinals? They're stealing from the Old Testament. We don't have a city of pastors and bishops. But the Mormons do. The Catholic Church does. And chapter, what is it? Chapter 11, verse 21. 21. Watch this. Jeremiah 11, 21. There, therefore, thus saith the Lord. Now, this is God speaking. This is not Jeremiah. This is God speaking. Therefore, thus saith the Lord of the men of Anath, that's the city of the priests, that seek thy life. The priests want the priest, Jeremiah, dead. Saying, okay, this is what the men of the priests are saying to Anath. Prophesy not in the name of the Lord that thou die not. By our hand. The priest city that we just read wants Jeremiah to shut up. So don't be surprised if you're involved in a public ministry and people of your city come up to you and say, Shut up. You're too loud. It's not what Jesus would do. You are in the same hands of Jeremiah. And it was a priest city telling Jeremiah, Shut up. How's that? So back to First Chronicles chapter six. Look how that is look how that Bible history was just hidden. And it took study to find it. And and off in her suburbs. And their suburbs are just areas around the city. All their cities throughout their families were thirteen cities in Benjamin. And unto the sons of Koah which were left of the family of that tribe, were cities given out of a half-tribe, namely out of the half-tribe of Manasseh by lot, ten cities. All right, this is the half-tribe of Manasseh that crossed the Jordan River. That half gave cities unto the Levites, Gershom, Kohath, and Merari. And to the sons of Gershom, throughout their families, out of the tribe of Issachar, out of the tribe of Asher, out of the tribe of Nathalie, out of the tribe of Manasseh, in Bashan, 13 cities. So all 11 brothers of Levi who did not get a land possession, did not get a land claim, gives within their land places and cities for the Levites to live. Unto the sons of Merari, verse 63, were given by Lot, Throughout the families of the tribe of Reuben, of the tribe of Gad, they're on the other side of the Jordan River. They are on the wrong side of the river, and they give Lot to the priests, to the Levites, to the sons of Aaron. Even though they're in the wrong place, they say, Levi, come over here, we'll give you cities too. And out of the tribe of Zebulun, 12 cities. And the children of Israel gave to Levites these cities with their supper. And they gave by lot out of the tribe of the children of Judah, out of the tribe of the children of Simeon, out of the tribe of the children of Benjamin, that's all Judah, these cities which are called by their name. 
And the residue of the families of the sons of Kohath had cities of their coasts out of the tribe of Ephraim. And they gave unto them of the tribes of, uh, I'm excuse me, cities of refuge, Shechem, that's a second city of refuge, and Mount Ephraim, where her suburbs they gave also Gezer with her suburb. All the, uh, the cities of refuge were Levite cities. The Levites were the judges. And verse 68, Jachmin with her suburb, Beth Horon with her suburb, Agilon with her suburb, Gathmian with her suburb, out of the half tribe of Manasseh, Arar Anar with her suburbs, Millennium with her suburbs, and for the family and the remnant of the sons of Kohath. Now, Kohath has been separated many times. You keep saying, and the, and the remnant of the Kohaths and the remnant of the Kohath. Those three Kohaths, Morari, and let me look at the other one real quick, Gershom, they were scattered all around. But the sons of Aaron stayed in the area of Jerusalem. Verse 71, Unto the sons of Gershom were given out of the family of the half-tribe of Manasseh, Golan, and Bashan in her suburbs, Ashtoreth. Judges 10.6. We're going to look at one passage. There's many. But Judges 10.6. Judges chapter 10, verse 6. The word we're looking at right now is Astra. It's a town. But it's not only a town. In Judges chapter 10, verse 6, And the children of Israel did evil again the sight of the Lord and served Balaam and Astra. This is a, a goddess. This is a city given over to the goddess of Astra. You know her as Estar. You know her as Easter. She's a statue woman that has many eggs or breasts, however you want to look at them. And she's the goddess of fertility. Oh, you say Easter shows up in Acts. I forget which chapter it is. No. Easter shows up in Judges 10.6 and Easter shows up in First Chronicles 6, 71. There's Easter. There she is. She has an alias. So Easter or Esther were to go get a job and fill out an application and line number 87 would say, have you ever gone by any other names? She would have to put yes. I go by Asherah. I go by Esther. I go by Easter. And I go by Mary. And you can look at, there's a Greek goddess of, for her. Um, well, I'm not going to get all, but that's a woman of many names. And cities and areas are given over to their gods. When Abraham came out of Ur of Chaldees, Ur was the representation of the moonest god. As Ishmael worships the moon god today, and their symbol is the moon with that star. You found that in the book of Acts when Paul's in, in, in Ephesus. The great god of Ephesus was great Diana. Paul is on Mars Hill to the great unknown god. Whether you're BC or AD, you still got areas in the United States named for Washington, the guy. MLK Boulevard, MLK Road, MLK School, MLK. The great gods. Nothing new under the sun. Verse 72. First Chronicles 6. And out of the tribe of Issachar. Kedish. And her suburbs. Deborah and her suburbs. Ramoth with her suburbs. Enam with her suburbs. Out of the tribe of Asher. Mashiel with her suburbs. Abdon with her suburbs. Hekuk with her suburbs. Rehob with her suburbs. Out of the tribe of Naphtali. Kadesh, that's a famous name in the Bible, in Galilee. Oh, oh, that's the area where Jesus has come from. 
That's the area that Jesus visited. So he's nowhere new to the priest. Galilee and her suburbs and Helmuth and her suburbs and Kircher Ham with her suburbs. Unto the rest of the children of Merari were given out of the tribe of Zebulun, Rimmon, that's another one in the Bible known, of her suburbs, Tabor and her suburbs. On the other side, Jordan by Jericho, on the east side of the Jordan, that's the wrong side, were given them out of the tribe of Reuben, Bezer of the wilderness with her suburbs, Jehaz with her suburbs, Chemoth with her suburbs, Methahiah with her suburbs, out of the tribe of Gad, other side, Ramoth of Gilead. Now look at verse 73, Ramoth. Look down here, verse 80, Ramoth of Gilead. Why does it say Ramoth of Gilead? Two places. You know, there's two Bethlehems. So God is already telling us the Holy Spirit is saying, hey, here's one place, here's the other place. And it's funny how both those places are given to the priest. With her suburbs, Menahim with his suburbs, Heshbon, you read a lot about that one, with her suburbs, and Jazir with her suburbs. So there we go. That whole chapter given over, and it's funny how it's chapter 6. <laughs> kind of interesting. 6 is the number of men. Now, Lord Will will pick up with Issachar next time. And I don't know what I don't know what God has laid out except for Judah being first. I don't know what particularly why he puts these children in this order. It's definitely not birth order. So